Five years ago today, 32 people were killed at Virginia Tech in the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. But this is not just a somber day because of the tragic anniversary that it represents. It's a somber day because today, 32 more will be murdered by guns in our nation. Yes, another Virginia Tech will happen today, like it happens every day. And that's why we're here, to say enough is enough, and to hold the people who do their work in that building behind us accountable to put an end to this madness. Specifically, we are here to demand two things from Congress. Number one, to tell the Senate to reject what we call the George Zimmerman Armed Vigilante Act. This lethal bill, introduced only days after the Trayvon Martin tragedy, pretty much sums up the gun lobby's dark vision for our nation. It would force virtually every state to honor the concealed carry permit of every other state. So in other words, if your state has sensible gun laws that might prevent someone like George Zimmerman, a man with an arrest record and a history of violence, from carrying a loaded hidden gun on your streets, tough luck. A George Zimmerman in your state can apply for a permit online from Florida and carry a gun on your streets, and there is nothing you or your local law enforcement can do about it. The second thing we are here to do today is to introduce and demand every person in Congress sign this statement of principle against arming dangerous people. Here's what it says, plain and simple. I believe that these people should not be able to buy, own, or carry a gun anywhere in our nation. Convicted felons, convicted domestic abusers, terrorists, and people found to be dangerously mentally ill. That's it. Either you're against putting the guns in the hands of these people, people directly responsible for thousands of gun deaths in our nation every year, or you are in favor of arming them. Plain and simple. And any congressperson who does not sign this statement can only be considered to be in favor of arming dangerous people or of putting some other agenda ahead of the lives of the people they've been elected to represent. 